Hey, what is up guys and girls? So it is Tuesday the 11th of October and I'm just on my way to the gym. I don't know if it's like 13, 14, maybe even 15 days of squatting on the road at the moment. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not as fatigued as I thought I would be. And yeah, looking forward to today's session, high bar squats. It's a little bit earlier than I normally train. It's about 10 o'clock. I typically like to train later in the evening. It's just personal preference. I just feel like a little bit more awake and a little bit more energetic. We're going to give it a go this morning because I have that event, that maxi nutrition event up in Chelsea. So I'm flying solo today. Charlotte is staying and she's going to do a bit of work, a bit of video editing and things like that. Obviously, because I'm training seven days a week, Charlotte doesn't need to train that often. So it's not every time we go to the gym. So I'm going to go nip to the gym, try and be as quick as I can, because there are also train strikes today. Southern, the most useless train company in the world, have train strikes today and we need to get up to London. Fortunately, we don't need to be there till about quarter past three, but you never know. It takes just over an hour to get there. We've got to get the tube and all that jazz. So don't want to be leaving too late. So it's 10 o'clock now. I'm going to go and grab a coffee from Wake chose obviously and then go hit some squats Big day, so we've got the big cam out now. Just got back from the gym. Session went okay, hit 172.5, which is what I was going for, but it didn't feel quite as smooth as last time. And I think it's because I just didn't warm up my upper body as well. I got there, I knew I was under time constraints, had to get back, and we are probably a little bit late right now as well. We're going to get to some eating, but I was chatting to a few people, didn't manage to get warmed up, and it just didn't feel as smooth. The weight went up fine, but it just goes to show that I personally need to warm up my upper body a lot more. But anyway, we're about to eat and then head up to London. So we are enjoying this sausages, toast, eggs and mushrooms. So we're gonna have this and then head up to the Maxi Nutrition event. I'm not quite sure what to expect to be honest. I've been told to bring my gym gear because apparently I'm gonna be put through a workout. I was hoping I was just gonna get some free protein bars, but we shall see. Hopefully we get that anyway, but they're probably gonna make me work for it. So it's gonna be interesting, but we're gonna eat this quickly and then head up to the station and head up to London. <laughs> So we've just arrived in Fulham Broadway and on our way to Alex Fitness for the Maxi Nutrition event. And for once, I don't think we're gonna be late. Although having said that, we have no idea where we're going. So we're just walking through Southwest London at the moment, trying to find out where we're going. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're at the Maxi Nutrition event at Alex Fitness down in Chelsea in London. I'm about to be put through a back and bicep workout. I don't think I've ever been put through a workout before, so be interested to see how it turns out. Got you in the gym, fam. Got you in the fever. Got you begging for pain reliever. We got a bear, she got Justin Bieber. You a nightmare with a dream weaver. You the follower, we the leader. Catch you your bullshit like me, cleaver. Woo! Earthquaking, ego shaking. Drop the haters, see you later. We the temper, got you in the fever. Got you begging for pain reliever. We got a bear, she got Justin Bieber. You a nightmare with a dream weaver. You the follower, we the leader. Catch you your bullshit like me. Got you in the gym, got you in the fever Got you making my pain reliever We got a bitch, you got Justin Bieber You a 
Okay, so we are all done at the Maxi Nutrition event, or Maxi Muscle event, should I say, because they've just rebranded, and that's basically why we were there. But it was the most random thing. So I turned up, and they said, right, what do you want to train? I was like, I don't know. So obviously I squatted this morning, but I actually missed my back and bicep stuff. So I was like, oh, I'll just train back and biceps. So they're like, okay, we'll assign you a personal trainer. I thought this is so odd. Anyway, so this guy, this personal trainer, Dan, really, really nice guy. Who's like, okay, I'm going to take you for a workout. And he's basically CrossFit doing like giant sets and rack pulls and stuff like that. My grip was failing, which really annoyed me, but at least it meant that I wasn't too fatigued because the weight wasn't too heavy and stuff like that. Finished off with that. And then we had like a little talk and they were talking about all their new products and stuff, changing their branding around. What happened is they were maximum muscle then they changed to the maxi nutrition people got the ump so they changed it around so they're now going back to maxi muscle and they're doing like a big relaunch and stuff they basically said they're going to send me a bunch of free products and i don't even need to do anything i don't need to review it i mean i will but they said that they're going to send me some stuff and i might work with them in the future but i don't know it depends on how good their stuff is you know me i'll call a spade a spade i won't lie so yeah that's kind of what happened we are very very hungry so we're going to go ahead to whole foods now we've got to head to nespresso and stuff and then just mooch around London really, it's just gone half six, so sun is going down, but it looks like a nice evening, so we'll get up to something. Driver ever. I didn't even say thank you. No. Because you're a bitch. Very indignant. <laughs> Finally back home, just gone at midnight, and we had a nice little evening in London, did a few different bits and pieces. We went to Whole Foods. They had some weird taster event kind of thing on where they had these little tasting stations like all over the store. So obviously we took advantage of that. <laughs> And we also got like a small box of food, like they have a hot counter and we like to try things. So we just tried a little bit of everything and that was kind of like a little snack for after. But then we went into Piccadilly Circus to the Nespresso shop, stocked up on Nespresso, got 150 capsules. Walk a little path on the moon, never satisfied. We'll just go where the sunlight goes. And then we went over to John Lewis to look for some stuff, but didn't end up getting anything. Christmas decorations in October. No, just no. Yes. No. Yes. And then we walked to Soho for dinner where we went to Dirty Bones, which is an American restaurant. American restaurant. American restaurant. <laughs> fucking laughing over that. I can't vlog when you're freaking pissing up, right? An American restaurant, and it was in this cool little square thing. What was it called? I don't know, King something, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it was a place called Dirty Bones, and it was just like proper slutty American food. Infinity macros, had a few drinks, and then we got the train back, did a little bit of work on the train. I actually did my written review for the Muscle Food Pizza, so make sure you check that out when I post that up. That may have been posted up already, I'm not quite sure. And then we got the bus home, so we were a couple of bus wankers on the way back, and had the most unhelpful bus driver in the world, but I'm not going to get into it, because otherwise I'll get pissed off. 
But that is going to end the vlog tomorrow. We've got to do some food shopping and I'm meeting up with Nick Walsh at Walshy Nick, a good friend of mine. So we're going to go hit a training session and maybe even a Nando's after that. But that's going to end this vlog. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.